Oh, Bobby, we're live. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Nestle's Wellness Cook Along, and this is Nestle's first ever Google Plus Hangout Cook Along. That was a mouthful. And I have with me here celebrity chef Bobby Chin. Yeah, Round of applause. Thank you. thank you. And at the same time, it will be very exciting because Bobby will be cooking for us today. And at the same time, we will have five participants actually cooking along with us. Yeah. Not here in the studio with us, but in their own homes, but cooking according to your pace. Unbelievable. Yes. I'm a Luddite and we're all technologically here. Yes. Okay. So let's introduce our participants today. Let's start off with Jamie. Um, hi, my name is uh, Jamie. I'm a stay-at-home mom with two young children baby. I am an active blogger as well. I wonder about my kids. Uh, of course, it's not so much about the parents because they're not that exciting. <laughs> um, my favorite hobby is to travel, and I, I find the Great Wall of China when I was five months pregnant oh in Big Valley. That's crazy. Okay, thank you, Jamie. Let's go on to Jay. She's a journalist from the New Paper. Hey, Jay. Hi. Thank you. Um, Hi. Um, this is the first time a long time the stoves, and I think that's kind of fine. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jay. Let's go to Stri, who is a winner. To all these people wanted to cook with you. Well, I'm here. We ready? Yeah. We got to introduce. Worry about Street? Super Mommy. Oh, Super Mommy? Let's drink first. Oh, sure, okay, sorry. Hi. Hi. Hi, Shri. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, hi, I'm Shri. Hi, Shri. Hi, Shri. Hi, Shri. I'm a mother of three young children. Okay, so we're getting a little bit like... Uh, no this is like when you're watching the evening news and, yes. like, and we're going back to Baghdad. <laughs> and, and then, yeah, and then are like, you there? Okay. okay, Super Mommy. Let's go to Super Mommy now. Hi, Super Mommy. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm getting excited to cook. Hey, let me introduce myself. My name is Mitsu, better known as the blogger Super Mommy. I am a lawyer by trade. Ooh. I work as vice president at the Asian Parent, and tonight I'm a super mom. Do I do? Cool. Okay. Sure. Our last participant is uh, Jong Han, and he's only 16 years old. The only guy. Hi. 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 And I was here. So uh, I followed her in the kitchen. I can do something again. I can do something again. I can do something again. Cool. Okay. Are you guys ready to start cooking with Bobby now? Because we're going to start. It's, I'm, I'm stressed too. It's my first time cooking with a celebrity right. chef. There's no stress oh, at all. <laughs> I woke up for the occasion. You did? Yeah. Are we ready? Yes, let's go. Okay, yes. so, as you know, we're cooking three light, healthy dishes to go with our whole wellness thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Using Nestle product, and we're going to show you what you can do using Maggi, oyster sauce, real chicken stock. Real chicken stock. Concentrated yeah. chicken stock. Yeah, and then obviously we're going to, you know, you got to have coffee if you got... I like coffee. Yes, cafe. Yes. So we're doing that as well. Mm. We're going to make a noodle dish, a young jackfruit salad. Saute. Yeah, I call it a salad, but it's not okay. a salad. Salad. Um, using Econ Belize. This is off the hook. Econ Belize uh, stock. Yeah. Mm. So we're using Econ Belize stock, which is um, one of my favorite. Yes. Because I love the flavor of Econ Belize. Yes. It just reminds me of Asia. Uh, and it's all healthy, mm -hmm. so I'm going to get started. So one of the things we started with was to get our young jackfruit in. So you want to cook that in acidulated water. You want to cut it with an oiled knife if you can get young jackfruit. And just put it in uh, water, bring it up to a boil, let it simmer with a little lemon juice, okay, mm -hmm. until it's tender. 
If you do not have young jackfruit, it turns out that a lot of people had difficulty finding young jackfruit. Right, I don't even know what that was until today. I know, well, just imagine <laughs> like how great jackfruit is before. Yeah. Yes. When it's not in its ripe stage, it tastes a little like artichoke. So artichoke. It's, okay. it's, it's, it's light, it's, it's fibrous, it's healthy. it's healthy. Okay. And then, if you don't have that, you can use a, a banana blossom. Mm -hmm. Same concept, take the banana blossom, cold water, bring it up to a boil, put a little lime juice in to prevent it from oxidizing, mm -hmm. have it weighted because the, the banana blossom mm -hmm. uh, rises to the top. So you want to put maybe a bowl with some water on it to suppress it into the water. Right. Okay, so the first thing that's going to take us the most amount of time is steaming the rice for our rice pudding. The sticky rice, right? Sticky rice. Sticky rice. So I'm just going to get a little steamer on mm -hmm. so you can do this all in real time. So wait, Bobby, you're going to cook everything at the same time? Yeah. Okay, I, are I you hope guys that you guys are up to that. You yeah, know? they're... Well, wait a sec. We've got... Uh, 16 year old yes. super wonder kid who's got his own TV show. He's going to be the next Bobby Chang. Okay, yeah, and you got 40 years to get there. <laughs> so, no rush on that one. You get, yeah, you get the rice steaming over here. And then, Econ Belize. Have you tried this stuff yet? It's Econ Belize stock, right? And there's 50% less salt in it, so it's kind of a healthier option. Yeah. You know, and I guess making your own stock is just way too troublesome. Well, so it's, it, 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 there's, so there's therapy in it, but this is like so quick, so easy, mm -hmm. and it's healthy. So why not? Right. So how do you get the stock ready? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just trim this away to make it Whoa. go quickly. You don't really need to do that. You can just add the water on it. I'm just trying to like, you know, <laughs> act like fast. I know what I'm doing. Because you get a bowl. And then put this in a bowl. Okay, so everyone like following right now, get ready that you can't believe stock. The other thing we want to do is we want to reconstitute our raisins for our rice pudding, right? So I'm gonna take a little bit of raisins here, and we're gonna rehydrate those. Mm -hmm. Reconstitute them in water as far as Nigella. Reconstitute them. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Except if you remember Nigella, do not shoot anything below this. What? Yeah, I don't know if you noticed that. Okay, <laughs> work with me just a little. <laughs> okay. Okay, now, So. rice is in, and we're going to reconstitute. I have some water that I pre-boiled. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna reconstitute our econ belize. We're gonna season our young jackfruit with econ belize. And we're gonna reconstitute our raisins with some hot water. So that's going while we're all hanging out. Now. Is everyone cool out there? Following so far? Are we good? So far yeah. it's quite easy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Mm. And then meanwhile, jackfruit is being cooked as well, so... Jackfruit is, is working. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do our noodles. Okay. Laksa noodles from Nestle. They call it Maggi Laksa. That's a uh, new flavor. Uh, yeah. That's a new flavor. And what you didn't know, mm -hmm is that the noodles are more springy oh. and no added MSG. So that's why you're using this yeah. rather than the old, uh, the more traditional Maggi flavors. Well, what I'm gonna do here, look, it actually comes with Maggi. So what you can do, mm -hmm. right, is don't throw this away, save it for a rainy day. You got that right there. So you can make your own laksa later, put this one aside. So in an absolute case of emergency, you got backup. Right. And then you got friggin' coconut powder. So that can't go bad. That's it's all good. Okay, so I'll leave that here. I Watch while I'm that. actually tidying up after myself. Most chefs don't do that. Clean it! <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna heat. I'm gonna add a little water. Now what I want to do here is this is very cool. This is like you're making a cup of noodle soup. Okay? But you're only using a little. Mm -hmm. And this was my discovery. I thought about this. Chicken all right? stock. Yeah, real chicken. Right. And Concentrated chicken stock made from real chicken, and it's no added MSG, fat free. Get that? Fat yeah. free. Okay. No trans fat. Oh no, fat no free. Trans, tra no trans fats either. Yeah. Uh, over here, there's a pyramid, not because I'm half Egyptian, but because that represents what? 
It's a healthier choice yeah. approved by the Health Promotion Board. By the Health Promotion Board, you saw it here. That's what they do here in Singapore. I didn't even know that until today. So from now on, I'm just going to look out for that, you know, when I go. Look for a pyramid. Think yeah. of me. Think of an ancient Egyptian. Yeah. So when you guys want to, you know, buy your ingredients out there, you know, you can always look out for the healthier choice. And also, if you are, you know, most Singaporeans are working all the time, so they have no time to go to the supermarket. So if you don't want to go to a supermarket to actually do your supermarketing, grocery shopping, yeah. you can actually go to uh, giantonline.com.sg where you can buy your groceries and they actually deliver it to your house. Who well, knew it's Google awesome when they got you right here? I know, See? right? She's, See? Yeah, very well done. Very, very useful. So I added a little bit of the chicken stock to my water here, so it's actually seasoning my noodles just a little, okay? So you let it sit a little bit on one side, because I want them al dente. Is everyone cool out there? Yeah. Yeah, question for Yes. Uh, you are a mom of a baby nurse, right? Yes. Since uh, all these Nestle products are free of, of MMD, yes. would you serve them to a baby? Definitely. I think Nestle uh, uses very healthy choices for, for babies, uh, suitable for children and babies, I think. Yeah, it's a good option. I think like the noodles, for example, I can always add, you know, uh, stock or like vegetables to it to make it a healthy choice and you cut it up with scissors, you can feed the babies. Bobby's not interested, Bobby's like a single guy. I'm a single like, guy. Let's not talk about babies. I hear a super mommy, I'm thinking, of, can you <laughs> find me a sugar mommy? <laughs> I'm cheap, I'm good, I clean. And you cook? I, yeah, look at me. Yeah, and you keep healthy? I do keep healthy. And you have curly hair? That doesn't help me. <laughs> The reason I'm wearing a hat is I can't afford gel. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I look like Don King after graduating from electrical school with the D. I don't know. You know Don that, King? No, I don't know who that the is. The guy used to fight for more. He used to have the hair going all the way up. Well, I think guys with curly hair look good. Okay, so our noodles, is it done? Um, just play with it a little. How do you know how much of uh, the chicken stock to add? I taste the water. See, that's why you chefs, you have this like talent. I'll tell you what is it's incredible is that it actually smells like chicken. Let me smell. You don't smell that. And, mm, that's really yeah, good. That's, that's a good one. So we're just seasoning a little bit. You could have added like salt and stuff, but we did. We added a little chicken, chicken concentrate. Play with that a little bit. That's what you do. You play with that. Mm -hmm. Just break it up a little bit like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Play with your food like your... And now I'm not, I'm you don't want to, to eat, it. your parents are watching you, like, I'm not <laughs> hungry. You're like, no, wait. So, Okie dokie. I'm shaking the noodle, so if it tastes good, you will know that I, I helped, okay? Mm -hmm. So is everybody else there catching up with us? Uh, is Bobby going too fast, like celebrity chef? Too fast, you know? Can we get our fantastic journalist? Are you a food critic, uh, uh, Tiying? Hello? Oh, we can't see her. Where'd she go? Oh, she, she left? Okay, while she's gone, I'm gonna talk to our fantastic salmon curry maker who cooked for the Prime Minister. Oh, you heard about that? Yeah. I heard about yes. that. Yes, she uh, has cooked a salmon curry yeah. for our Prime Minister, that's crazy. So she, you must be a really good cook. Are you following with the noodles cooking so far? Oh, look, she's, she's got it right. Yes. So you, you're a stay-at-home mom, right? You cook for three kids. How do you accommodate all of their tastes? Yes. Do they like all the same things? I feel like they were young. It was easier. But now I need to be really uh, with choosing and speaking children. <laughs> so you need to I be very innovative. Uh, this interesting. How do you make... Healthy food tastes yummy, that's the most important thing. I think most moms want to know that. Yes. Good ingredients. Uh, I usually try to make it look like uh, Cute? their favorite ah. like those, example, Like those Japanese bento boxes, you know, Bobby? Yeah. Yes, like a small sandwich and uh, things like that. Okay. Or add some pizza. Thank you, Sri. Okay, what are you doing now, Bobby, with this thing? This is a tip my grandmother taught me. 
I'm just sharing you giving family recipes I, away. I don't even know what you're doing with that. What is that? This is a salad spinner, and this gets away a lot of the water. Okay. Which makes a nice dryer noodle. And what if people don't have a salad spinner at home? What, what are they going to use? I don't have that. What should I do? See? Zhong oh. doesn't have a salad spinner at home. Buy yeah. one. Can I use a strainer? You can use a strainer, but then shake it, hold it like from the top, and then go shwa, shwa. Like that. And then put it on maybe a sheet pan and dry them with a kitchen towel. You want to remove as much water as possible. Huh? Okay. So get the noodles dry. Okay. Look at how much water I've been able to remove. With centrifugal force. Check it out. And use a big word. See that? Hold on. See, that would have been in your noodles. No nida. Sure. So just get them really dry and it should be al dente. It's al dente. It's nice. So you're talking about your grandmother's recipe. What's that? So it turns out my grandmother, actually my grandfather, my Chinese grandfather did not like oil. So as a result of that, uh, she would make stir fried noodles really light and really tasty. Really tasty. Really tasty. How does it taste like? Well, it's light. So it's like, so here's, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay. okay, so we've seasoned this with our chicken stock. Okay. Our, our concentrated chicken stock, okay? And I'm just gonna put this in here like that. Okay? Now traditionally, if you're gonna make a great stir fry, you wanna get a wok ridiculously red hot, all right? You need to add oil so it gets smoky. You throw the noodles in like in your kuai tiao, there's a lot of oil. The oil emulsifies itself in the sauce, which makes it seem like light and rich. Cause it, oh. it, yeah, that's not what we're doing. I didn't know that you were supposed to do that. So like a, when I a see chefs, yeah. I see chefs with the big walks and like huge fire, I always think they're doing it just for show. No. No. <laughs> not just for show. <laughs> not just for show. So this is how my grandmother taught me this. So what she does mm -hmm. is she adds a little magi. Okay, seasoning? seasoning, yeah. And then you just sprinkle it on. Bobby, you didn't open the cap. Oh, look at you. I got a critic next to me all over again. <laughs> Make yourself useful then. Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay, now you sprinkle it because I'm okay. sure you can do that. Now you want to, not in one place, you Whoa. want to shoot it all over the place. Okay. Yeah. A nice tight shot would be very good. I'll even cheat the camera for you. Okay. okay. Enough? Not enough. Huh? I don't know how much to put. Stop. I'm just going to go until you stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Okay. And then what you use is you use your eyes for this. You want to you wanna mix it around so it takes on a little bit of color. See that? Okay, so our participants will be like what? I mean, I counted for them. I think maybe about like 15 drops. Was that 15 drops? That was about I 10. I think you're shaking 15, but that's not 15 because drops. Because you chefs are always going on with your instinct, you know? Like, not everyone has chef instincts. You need it's to not chef them. instinct. This is a mechanical skill. And the See? more you cook, the better you get. That's true. Yeah? So think about Xie Ying, who has not, like, cooked ever. She did. She cooked uh, gel packs. You heard about that as well? I've heard. I've read okay. my story. Let's go to Xie Ying now. Yeah, don't feel bad about it. I, I, there's a famous chef that used to take hamburgers and cook the bird, cook the ground beef, and then try to stick them together. I'm like, no, you've got to put the raw beef ground and then... Okay, that's not a common knowledge, okay? Most of us think that they just come in packets like that. Okay, so Jay, can you tell us a little bit more about like why you don't cook? You don't cook ever, right? Yeah, and since I keep fried, I was thinking how to do it. And so there were all the little packets. So you have everything and I it. Yes. Oh my. Okay, do you actually eat it? Because it and might not be. Then right. I realized that, you know, it's Yeah, and I saw that one corn packet. <laughs> okay. So from then on, you yeah, just never cooked it. again. So this is your first time after uh, that time? Yeah, I'm a bit scared. Okay. Yeah. This must be really yeah. stressful for her, her first time, you know. No, don't, don't be stressed. Stress is just. Is, is a lack of confidence that what you're doing is you're in good hands and good company. So I, I saw you just added more seasoning. I just in. added a little uh, sesame oil. Oh, sesame oil. Okay. Just so to coat the noodles so they don't stick. Mm. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to get a non-stick pan. Here, you don't cook, so you can do this dish too. Cook a 
little bit. A little bit. Okay, so you turn on the fire. On, you turn on fire at low heat. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, this breaks all tradition. Generally, you want to get the wok, ridiculously smoking hot, mm -hmm. add the oil, smoke comes up, throw the noodles in, and then move them quickly okay. so it gets a little bit of a char flavor. Right. Okay? This breaks that rule. This, you oil the noodles in advance, you use less oil, you season the noodles in advance, mm -hmm. and then you put them in a nonstick pan over here. And you use your... Before our pan is heated up on high, we heat it. Heated up on high? I heat it up on yeah. high? How do we know when the pan is ready? Okay, uh, you don't have to, to put it up on high, but for you, since you said it, I will, just a little. I have it on low heat. I can turn it up on high and I can multitask, and this is one of the things where you use all your senses in cooking. You use your ears for this dish. When you start hearing the noodles uh, searing, okay. you want to get a little color on it, so you want to move it around. So very slightly brown. Just slightly. That's how you get the char flavor without using a ton of oil. There's less than a tablespoon of oil in this. There's probably like a, a teaspoon, mm. okay, for this type of oil. So for this type of dish, so this is really, really light, real simple. Mm -hmm. And instead of using the Econ Belize stock, we're going to use Oyster sauce. Oyster sauce, yes. Okay, so we have oyster sauce, and we have a little Shaoxing wine, mm -hmm. and a little sugar, okay? And oyster sauce is a good healthy choice to make because, you know, it's less salt, there's no added MSG, no cholesterol, and at the same time, it has the logo that you always want to be looking out for, which HPB. is... HPB. HPB approved, healthier choice. Okay. Yeah. You Very guys good. down with that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So all this is in, you can turn it on high, but it means you have to give it a little bit more uh, attention. Okay. Okay, but you hear that? Here, I'll turn on higher. Sizzling, so. Can you hear that sizzling? Okay, I'll give you sizzling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got that? none of the participants burn their noodles, cuz. Yeah, I had the sizzling sound. Okay. You can hear that? Can anyone hear that? Listen. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah, that's what you want, just a little, and then uh, not too much. See? And all you're doing is, see, there, there's hardly any oil, but these are perfectly seasoned because you use the chicken concentrate stock first. And then you, instead you of have to salt, make sure you use a non-stick non pan, right? A okay. non-stick pan and a little sesame oil, which gives it a little seasoning as well, a little flavor. And that's what you're looking for. So you just move that around. And you get it to the state where you want to burn it just a little. Are you with me? Yeah. You're a superstar. <laughs> I told you this is easy. Jung Han's a big fan. Huh? Jung Han's your big fan. He's always answering the most yeah. enthusiastic way. <laughs> okay. Hey, Jung Han, while Bobby's cooking the noodles, why don't you tell us a little bit more about your YouTube channel? Uh, I share my favorite recipe to my YouTube channel. And usually it's big stuff. Uh, but then, uh, sometimes I will share home nutrition food, like my uh, spicy cucumber that, uh, that is invented by my mom, which is quite special. Usually you eat cucumber by its own way, but if you cook it with uh, spice, uh, chili and spices, leaves. It's really good. Oh, that sounds good. I want to try that too. I can't believe he's just 16 years old. Can you believe that? Yeah, he's already cooking. Yeah, and he's talking cooking and teaching time. people how to cook. That's crazy. That's huge. Okay, so just a little like that. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to get a little color on it and we're going to dry the noodles out. Now you can have this at room temperature. You can have them hot or you can have them cold. So I like them all three ways. So my grandma used to make this for me, um, but she didn't have the chicken stock. So what did she put in as um, other ingredients, you know, besides just noodles? What else can oh. you add to it? See, there it is. That's what we're looking for. A little bit oh. of that. You catch that? Yeah, it's a like golden brown. You see that one there? Okay, and we're getting a little bit of that now. So. 
You might want to reduce the heat mm -hmm. because normally I'd have doing this and something else, but I'm going. Um, question for Bobby. Yo. Um, I noticed that you don't put any salt. I didn't use any it's salt. Hot. I used the chicken yeah. concentrate to flavor. So when, instead of using uh, just, do uh, so you know how you cook pots in salted water? Yeah. I use the chicken sauce. So it actually adds a little bit more depth of flavor onto these mm -hmm. noodles. Mm -hmm. So it's healthier. Yeah. So my grandmother would basically do this and then add the Shaoxing wine and the oyster sauce, but mm -hmm. I'm just going to use it as a salad dressing, literally. And you want to like make sure they're separating. So now you know that you can get the instant noodle pack and make stir-fried noodles. Yeah, because most people would just think that you can just, you know, only boil it. That's the, the boring way, I guess. So I boring guess most, way. most people won't think about, you know, stir-frying it. Well, I'll tell you what, you can eat it right out of the packet and then dip it into the seasoning salts and have it like a crispy. I, I'm not sure if he's joking. Is he joking? Why not? For real? Yeah. You can make this as a stir fry. It's basically a stir fry noodle. You want to add egg to it, by all means. If you want to add, what I will do now, because this is pretty much ready to go. You see how nicely uh, brown we have some uh, of the noodles? That looks good. Okay. okay. Now, if you wanted to make a stir fried beef, you could do that. Mm. If you wanted to add seafood or just vegetables, choose your favorite vegetables, mm. and then you can marinate it in the next step, which I'm going to do right now. So a viewer you asked if you stirring over here for me, so it doesn't. Okay. Uh, yeah. So a viewer asked you if you can add eggs to it. Do you think it will destroy the taste of the noodles? No. Would it like make it wet? You know, if you add vegetables to this, do you like cook the vegetables first? Yeah, you want to steam the vegetables first, and then you can just take a little bit of this oyster sauce here. Now, this reminds me of Japanese food. If you ask a Japanese person, how do you make chamushi or teriyaki sauce, they'll go one, one, one. One, what? one soy sauce, one sake, and that would be it. That means like one part, one part, one part, right? Yeah, equal ratios. Okay, so now you've got what, oyster sauce and one I got oyster sauce. sauce. Now, if there's any Muslims out there that are concerned with alcohol in the Shaoxing wine, take the Shaoxing wine. Heat it up first, set it on fire, it burns the alcohol. Just sharing for my Muslim friends out there. Except most of my Muslim friends mm -hmm. drink alcohol. And I guess if you want a vegetarian option, you can use, you know, vegetarian uh, sauce instead of oyster sauce. Mm -hmm. As well, yeah. like mushroom sauce. Yeah, mushroom sauce would work. So what we have is... I can't drink up to you for all the sauce of the soya sauce. What's that? Sorry, one more time? Uh, I see a good substitute for my sauce of the soya sauce. Soy sauce? Yeah, for this thing. Yeah, okay, I think that, that should work. <laughs> but oyster sauce has a bit of a, a sweet taste to it, right? I'm using my disinfected fingers to taste for you. Thank you. Okay, Bobby, I have no idea what I'm doing here. You're just stir frying, girl. Don't okay. stop. Bobby, I have a question. Whoa. I know the recipe. Hi, it's Super Mommy. Super yeah. Mommy, find me yeah. Sugar Mommy. But anyway, yes. I will look for you, and that is my question. Uh, the recipe calls for sugar. Do we need to add it? You don't, but just a little. If you want to find a sugar substitute, by all means. But so I, what so I, we have to use sugar substitute? It won't taste the same. I can't hear that last part. Did you get that? Do I have to use the sugar substitute? Can I just take it out completely? You can take it out completely. Uh, the Shaoxing wine doesn't impart enough uh, enough. Sweetness. Mm -hmm. I think that when you add this, there you'll taste it. Try it once. An alternative to Shaoxing wine would be sherry. Mm. Uh, okay. A nice dry sherry. I but, guess the moms just don't want to have sugar 
like you know for the kids. Exactly. Yeah, because you, you can see, get them all hopped up and unable to sleep and stuff. Okay. Okay. The sauce is done. I have no idea what you just did over there. I just right. added I just added oyster sauce. Shaoxing wine and seasoning? Just yes. a little sugar. A little sugar. But you don't have to have sugar if you don't want. And then just dump it. Wah wah. Perfectly cooked noodles by me. Yep. Okay. And then you mix it up? And you just mix it up. Now what you can do. You could have done this in the pan, but you can make this in advance, the sauce that is, mm -hmm. and whenever you want to get this dish around, just have it in the fridge and then put it right into your noodles. It smells really good. Okay, I didn't add any vegetable. I just want to do this because I want to do three dishes for you mm. so you can see the variety of dishes that can come out using these very simple, healthy ingredients. It smells really good. That's your own cooking. Don't add sugar. Okay. <laughs> okay, so one dish is already done. That's really mm -hmm. fast. So as I said, you can use um, you can use this. What was I saying? No, I'm totally spaced out. Jet lag is not my friend. Okay, just like that. If you wanted to add vegetables, steam your vegetables in advance. Right. Make that sauce. Mix it in. Marinate them. If you're using a beet. Do the exact same thing. Don't use the sugar, also because sugar increases the caramelization mm -hmm. of the dish. Yeah? Now for our young. Are we moving on to the next one already? We're the, doing jackfruit. Yeah, yeah, jackfruit. It's really fast and easy. Mommy, I have a question for you. Okay. Yeah. So, what's your favorite Singapore dish? My, I got, you know what, there's too much great food in Singapore. It's like, you know, what's my favorite Rolling Stone song? I got, I got too many favorites. So name some of your favorites. I like uh, Ochen. Ochen. You like Ochen? Ochen. Ochen. That's oyster, like, oyster stir fry. Oyster, oyster omelet. Yeah, oyster omelet. If you come to I Singapore and you're watching from not Singapore, yeah. that is an absolute must. And if you ever come here, you got to eat at a hawker center and, um, and then try uh, King Kong, Kong King, Kong Kong. <laughs> Kong Kong. Kong Kong. Kong Kong, yes. Yeah. Sambal Kong Kong. Uh, that's also really good. Uh, any crab. crab dish, chili crab. Mm -hmm. um, the stingray, but you got to be careful because I am the ambassador for WWF on sustainable seafood. Right. And you got to let, let, let them live. They're so small. I mean, you used to get big ones, not anymore. They used to come yes. in half, right? Now all of a sudden they're all coming in this year one. Well, you're right. I think it's getting more and more small. So I always thought it's just the hawkers being stingy. Yeah, so if you're going to do it, go sustainable. Are you so with what me? are you doing now, Bobby? What I'm doing right now is I'm chilling the uh, young jackfruit because it's too hot for you to handle. Oh, okay. Yeah? So after they are cooked, how do you know that they are done? They're tender. They're tender and uh, they're opaque and they're soft. They're very soft. And that's the same thing with uh, banana blossoms. If you can't find young jackfruit, get a banana blossom, put the whole thing, submerge them in the water, put a pot on top with water, let it cook for like two to three hours. Once you're finished doing that, chill them or rinse them in cold water so you can handle them. Remove the outer leaves. You'll find what would have been bananas wrapped around each of the actual leaves. You get closer, it becomes more tender. When you can shred them easily, that's what you're looking for. Then you squeeze out the extra moisture, and that's a substitute for young jackfruit. Yeah? Are we all having fun? Yeah. Yay. OK. Yay. So are you guys done with the noodles already? Yeah, I can show you mine. OK, please yeah, show. Yeah, I can mine. OK. Well, they're all catching up so fast. Whoa, yeah. OK, nice. Well, you got your own TV show. We're expecting that. Yes. That looks good. That, you guys are good. Wow, oh, very fast. Okay, well done. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so for the young jackfruit. Oh, oh, you. Sorry. No, no, no. Go on, put it back. She I didn't good. see. I didn't see it's it. It's the first try. No, put it closer to the camera. Oh, very nice. Oh, look at the garnish too. Oh, yeah. Very good. Very good. I know you're not single. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we've got the jackfruit. Okay, here. so you got the jackfruit. Just. Tear okay. this part Can off you here. explain something to me? Why does this look nothing like the jackfruit that I know? Because it's unripe. It's, 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 it's young. So it's it's like white. It's like a, 
you know, purplish, brownish color. No, no, this That's is not a yellow at all. Because it's young. It was oh, white when it started. I see. It's kind of like papaya. I see. You so what, papaya? Are you, what are you doing right now? I'm just shredding it. I'm taking shredding the seeds it? out. Do not eat the seeds. They taste like almonds. They're very deceptive, but they are lactose. Otherwise, it gives you gas. Makes you fart. There you go. And burp. I don't know about so, burping. Okay, so not something that you would eat on a date. You don't want this. Yeah, if you're on a <laughs> date, you don't want to close with this one. <laughs> okay. So, a but question the question for Bobby. Yeah. Um, um, you think jackfruit is quite uh, new for Chinese, but not for Malays and Indian. Um, how about in Vietnam? Do you eat it often? Yeah. You know what? The, they eat this everywhere. Okay. In Vietnam, yeah, I learned this dish. This is actually a dish from Hue, but then I converted it to give it more of a, a... Let me help you. Yeah, there you go. They're stepping See? up to the plate. Oh. Okay. So, you know, if you have applied for a job in, in a restaurant and the person's sitting there saying, you're going to go meet the chef, and the, and the person that's just standing there prepping something as easy as this, if you don't join them, they don't hire you. Okay, you know that. I will, I will keep that in mind in case Keep I that in mind if you ever need to get in there. But you don't need to do that because you're a big blogger now, aren't you? Um, okay. I try to cook sometimes. So, no, they have this all over. Uh, India, they have this. I have, where do I have this? I just love jackfruit because it's fibrous. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you know, like uh, normally jackfruit has a really strong smell to it when it's right? Yeah. Does this have that smell too? Mm, not now. Not now, right? No, it's got no smell. Because it's so interesting, it, it smells like, okay. like artichoke, kind of. Here we go. Okay. Can I ask you guys a question? Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Why, before you ask that question, I'm going to squeeze the water out of this. Ooh. Because we don't want it to splatter all over the place when we add it to the pan. Okay? That's and so you don't have to be, see what I'm doing? I've just absolutely squashed it like I'm the Incredible Hulk. Super mom. Okay. Oh, so as we will see your question, Han, he has a question. Uh, awesome. I have not tried yellow jackfruit before. What is the difference between the yellow one and the ripe one? What's, what's the difference between the young one and the ripe one? Uh, less sugar in the, uh, in the young one. No flavor. It's, as I said, it's like a green papaya versus a, a regular papaya. There's no color. It's more subtle. You know what I'm saying? Are you with me? Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Garlic oil, roasted garlic oil or uh, raw garlic oil in a pan, just like that. And this is where the Econ Belize uh, stock powder comes in. Mm. The one that you mixed up just now? Yeah. Like. We're going to season it with that, okay? When you say garlic oil, can I just like put real garlic in it with oil? Or does it have to be in, infused in the oil? Uh, Ideally, you infuse it, mm -hmm. but for you, I'll break every rule for you. Cause for me? Yeah, okay. yeah, for you, yeah. Why not? <laughs> okay, so what are you doing right now? I'm using a ginger torch, okay. and I'm cutting it very, very thinly just to accent it because you told me you don't like uh, cilantro. cilantro. Yes. So traditionally, I'd make this with spicy mint. If you got spicy mint, try spicy mint. Spicy mint? Okay. okay. Um, this is a very uh, strong, like, it. It's a ginger torch. It's incredible. You're very lucky to live in Asia because you can't get this in other countries. I've never seen it before. Okay. Is it a common thing? Or is it, I'm too amateur to know that. It's like an exotic thing. I've never had that this either. Have any of the participants tried before this young jackfruit? Yeah. Is it like lemongrass? Is it like lemongrass? The What's ginger that? torch? The ginger torch is right here. It's a very beautiful flower. It is very pretty. And the ginger's at the absolute bottom. And it's very floral. I like um, oh, I know that. It's, uh, it's called Bumi Tantan. Whoa, okay. Okay, we get the, uh, the yeah. pan smoking hot. Is that what? You for ginger sauce? Is that what? Any substitute for the ginger sauce? Substitute for the ginger torch. Yeah, I would, have, I would have not even used ginger torch. I just saw them on the set and, you know, they decided to make the set look pretty with all these fresh herbs and colorful ingredients. So I just added it. I would have traditionally used... Uh, cilantro? No, I didn't use cilantro because 
Traditionally. You know what? Traditionally, I would have used uh, hot mint, which is uh, in indigenous in, uh, in Vietnam. Okay, so what are you doing now, Bobby? You're just frying it in the garlic, right? With I'm the... just a little, so it have a little bit of garlic flavor, okay. and it's a little on the bland side. And this is where the econ bullies just goes, whoop! Hello! So no salt, okay, very little amount of oil. Yeah. That's why it's very healthy. And then I just mix it a little bit, and I season with econ bullies. So this would have been normally a stock, I'm using it as a substitute for salt and getting the econ mm -hmm. flavors that I love. Now, what you want to do is you want to get a little color on it. You don't, you don't have to, but oh, that, that just is, is just uh, wonderful. So you have contrast of crispy mm -hmm. and soft on this. And while that's going... And it's going at a, a medium heat here? Uh, it's medium. going on high. On high? Okay, because I can't really see. Okay, so what are you doing now? I'm just chopping my nuts for the next dish. The next dish is going to be the rice pudding with our... Um, well, this is frying. Our Nestle... Our inspired champarado. What's that? It's, it's a dish they do in uh, the Philippines. And it's a chocolate pudding. Chocolate. So I thought, well, I, don't, I can use chocolate. I could use a Nestle chocolate bar. But I didn't. I thought I'd make it uh, a cross between a dessert and a cup of coffee, even though we're going to finish this with a cup of coffee, because that's what I do here. See? And cool. I'm just going to season it. Is everyone uh, starting to cook their jackfruit already? All the participants? Do we have to stack? Oh, good. Sorry, Tonghan, what do you say again? Do we have to put all the seasoning in or not a little at a time? Uh, all the seasoning in or a little at a time? No, you can use what you need and what you want. Mm. Okay. So that's pretty much it. You see the caramelization we have here? Yes. So when you put in, you make sure... Oh, they're all Yeah, you're it. good. Yeah. I'm going to check out the A-team on this whole project. And I'm going to throw in a little ginger torch. If you don't have ginger torch, use any herb you want. Whatever you want. What's the difference between a ginger torch and just ginger? Does it taste the same? No, nothing like it. This is more perfuming, much lighter. Oh. Now this is very healthy because what we've got is we've got a low salt dish with fibers, vegetable, you know you gotta get your daily veg. Yes. Now I'm gonna put that over here. Wow. I'm gonna do it for the camera so it looks all pretty like I did television or something. <laughs> so uh, we, use, we right? only saw Stree's uh, uh, jackfruit. How about everybody else? Are they doing uh, frying it up? Uh, yes, Jay. Jamie, how's yeah, your, your cooking? Right oh, cool. So instead of ginger torch, what do you use? Oh, that looks good. And then garnish with some sesame seeds. You can never add too much. The sesame seed is to add some flavor and bite to it. Bite and texture. So texture, really. So you mix the two, right? Black and white sesame seed. Yeah. Do they taste the same? Here we go. Next step, okay. we chop that. So we're done with the jackfruit salad. That's cool. Okay, so next we're chopping up pistachios. We're chopping up pistachios. We're heating a pan so we can add our coconut milk. Mm. Now take a little bit of coconut milk, and this is really up to you. Consider the rice pudding like a risotto. And what happens is that we're just going to season that with a little mm -hmm. bit of sugar. Just a bit of sugar? Okay. It's dessert, so I think you gotta have sugar, it, it, you know. Okay. Okay. And wait, you're actually adding coffee to the dessert, right? That's right. I'm adding Nescafe gold. That is nice. Okay. Nothing mm -hmm. is gonna mess with me now. And I don't know if you know this, but it's, a, it's an antioxidant. Yes, and just like your fruits and vegetables. Plus it has caffeine, so that's great. Now, depending on how many you're cooking for, what you wanna do, or consider it like a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. So how much do you put in? How do you put, how much do you put in? Unless you want to do the chicken walk, I wouldn't put too much in. I would like to see you do the chicken walk. 
Well, when you do dessert, this is like, you know. <laughs> so you can go by color and by taste. So just on low heat, you cook the uh, coconut yeah, yeah, cream? Yeah, stir that around and, uh, okay, I'll and, do and, that. and chat and, I can do that. and tell them all okay. how it's all going. So is everyone catching up on this? Yeah. Yes. Everyone's good? He's getting started on the cream now. Okay. You're what? She, he's getting started on the cream now. You're looking good. So I know Jamie. Jamie, you're still yeah. breastfeeding, right? Yeah. Yeah, and? so as a, as a breastfeeding mom, sorry, you don't want to hear this, Bobby. Just shut off your ears. You can't talk about breastfeeding a guy like me. I'm saying okay, that. well. That's wrong. So for yeah, breastfeeding yeah. moms, yeah, you don't want to have caffeine in your uh, dessert, you know, because that would keep your kids like awake all night. So for yeah, breastfeeding moms, uh, yeah, you can actually use the Nest Cafe Go with a decaf version, so there's no caffeine in it for people who can't take coffee. And then you taste. Isn't it hot? Yeah, it's hot, but it's it's like coffee ice cream. Taste that. Let me try. Not with my hands. No, who's so Oh, popular. very nice. Mm. I just don't want to get burned. This You're not going to get burned. Chefs have like, this is like crazy hands that no, don't no, get no. burned no matter what. Yeah. Do we need to lower the fire for coconut? Yeah, you can do it on low. I think we're doing it on low. Uh, you don't want to do it too okay. hard, otherwise it splits the uh, the fats of the coconut. Yeah. Coconut. Yeah, I can't it. Coconut's a super food. Okay. Yeah, I'm just sharing as much information as possible. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we're turn, off. Turn it Done, off. finished. Okay. Okay, so this is what you do. I'm gonna put it in a transparent bowl so you can see what happens. That's a hot bowl. Oh. Ha, he, hu, ha, he. That's why you have a towel on top of your shoulder. <laughs> ha, he, ho. Okay, so making a. This depends how much you want. Okay? Are you with me? So that's sticky rice, right? Okay. That's sticky rice. It should be cooked today okay, by now. I yeah, guess. and then give me this here. And you simply pour this in. Whoa. Now you can always adjust this too. And consider it like a coffee risotto. Is this supposed to be eaten hot or cold? Uh, room temperature, hot's okay for winter. Uh, cold's okay for summer. Room temperature, if you got the munchies and you basically just want to eat something immediately. Right. Okay, I'm gonna fold a little bit more coconut. So as I say, you can always adjust this. And you want to get kind of like a risotto going. Is there any substitute for rice if they don't want to use rice? Rice is gluten free, it's, it's, it's a good one. Good. This is, yeah. Um, it's very similar. What's a rice pudding substitute? Bread and butter? Okay, so you just add until it's kind of like you creamy. Know, it's creamy, okay. Yeah. That does look good. Can I do a little taste? <laughs> so you just add, um, you know, the amount of coconut and and sugar. Make sure it tastes, you know, uh -huh. just right. Okay. You'll taste coffee and a little bit of coconut, and then there we got it. Okay. Okay. Throw everyone, those. Uh, uh, we just. Go doing okay with the dish? Let's see. Wow, oh, they are following so yeah, far. The then. Okay. You guys are in world class. They're really good. Yeah. <laughs> Don't show that to Discovery. I might, I might lose my job. In goes the nuts. Okay. So you mix in the pistachios and the... The pistachios, the chopped pistachios and hazelnuts. In goes the reconstituted raisins. Okay. So you add a bit of water to make it more less just sticky. Let it, just to let it loosen up a little bit. As I said, it's like a risotto. Right. How's it? That is 
Good. Is that for me? Sure. Okay, let me try. Okay, and let's just pretend I'll be proper. You, I don't want to ruin your reputation. Thank you. Very good. It was very fragrant because of the coconut. Um, Should we act all French? Sticky. Put it in the middle of the plate. <laughs> Put it in the middle of the plate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this beautiful the texture, the raisins, and pistachios, and the color of the café. Okay, now British. Café gold. And then it doesn't stop there. It goes over here, and then don't stop till you get enough. And then a little black sesame seed. I can see you're a big fan of sesame seeds. I've only done it in two dishes. I want to put it in there too? I can put it here too. They're, yeah. They're good in everything. Yeah, it's, it's a good Dessert one. and salads. Just like that. Now, my sweetness is sweet. Mm -hmm. I need a Dolce Cafe Mahuhu. Yes, let's. Yeah, we finish you make a cup dishes. of coffee because the Chin Man has jet lag, but Dolce Gusto. We do need coffee. I don't know if you've got a Dolce Gusto, but it's kind of like, hello, wake up. Here we go. Okay, let me turn this on. So Yeah, you guys press that over here like that. Why don't you see what you want to drink first? Okay. Well, you can either have espresso or cappuccino. Yeah. Okay. In the comfort of your home, Dolce Gusto. Oh. Because... My goodness. Okay, it's not Hold coming. on a second. Hold on a second. You go like this. You go. You go there. Go to go to go. Don't touch her. Don't touch her. Don't touch her. You're just going to use magic to, to get this to work. That's better. what I'm going to do. What you have to do is these machines need a little love and care. So you just like, hold on. How's everyone doing out there? Oh, okay. Now it's working. Okay, so it's yeah, now, yeah. See, I told you. I just touch it a little bit. Okay, really. It's magic. <laughs> Are you guys good? Are you happy? Yeah, I'm finished my dessert. You're Whoa, good. Yeah. Okay. Are you from the Philippines? It's been cool. It's good. It looks good. Look, yummy. Smells yummy. Thanks very much. Have you guys tried your dishes? Do they taste nice? So I've got one cup for you, Bobby. There you go, espresso. And espresso. Espresso is not correct. It's not proper English. It's espresso. What's that? What did I say wrong? You said espresso. What, what's the correct one? Es espresso. Oh. Espresso. Okay, I learned something new today. You learned? No. You learned a lot of things today. You high five me on that one. Yes. Uh, like ginger touch. Never ginger knew touch. it existed before in my life. Young jackfruit. Young jackfruit, yes. Seasoning your noodles in chicken stock, concentrated chicken stock with and real chicken with no added MSG. And we, what is a pyramid? When you go to the chicken market, you look at a pyramid for what? For the healthier yeah. choice. And right. also, now today I learned that sesame can go with everything. Okay, so everyone, can we see some of your creations today? Oh, that uh, smells good. My right today. Oh, nice. Very nice. And this is my young jet food salad. Oh. Did you taste it? Uh, I'll give you now. Oh, so much confidence. Hey, how'd you get three hands? Who is that? <laughs> She's a helper. She's a helper helping her little elf, you know, in front of her kids. That's cheating. Okay, what about, um, I guess I'm most excited to see Tia Ling's because that's her first time cooking. A super mommy. I love my Nescafe Cristo. Oh, that's really good. Huh? No, seriously. This is very good. I'm now starting to feel like Mick Jagger. Yeah, you know. I can't believe I can't this like cafe yeah, yeah. drinks just at home. And it's legal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Jelly, how is yours coming? I think it moves. Well, I think I got the noodles. Oh, okay. <laughs> huh? I think I got the brown jackfruit. Brown jackfruit. Okay. Don't need jack. No. Oh, it's yellow. Uh, oh, don't worry. Up. If you don't have a jackfruit, use a banana. 
Yeah. I always. Huh? She said she will next time. No, no, just use a banana. Use use a banana blossom. It's easier. It's quicker. It's because uh, you know easier to sell it. I don't know where to get that either. I've never seen that. Mm -hmm. Go to your Asian supermarket and you tell them, I want a banana blossom. Nobody has heard of that. Try I'm, it. I'm pretty sure I did see it in a Try supermarket it. before. You be, I'm telling you, I go to Singapore. Singapore's got tons of this. Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, across Southeast Asia, they eat it as salad. Hmm. I've never heard of that. I guess maybe it's just me because I'm like really amateur chef. I've never seen it in like any of the supermarkets before. But I've got to go try harder to find it. Okay. Yeah. Have some more gusto and then yes. find out how you feel. <laughs> you can buy it online. From okay. okay. giant.com? Yes, yes. Uh, giantonline.com. Uh, really? What the dash? Sorry? What do you usually cook for dash? Um, for dash, I usually cook porridge with fish stock. Again, boring Bobby with the baby talk. <laughs> Look, it, I did everything, but today we cooked wellness made easy. I'd like to thank Nestle. I'd like to thank Google Plus. I'd like to what thank all me? the production. Hold on, you get last. What? I'm your little chef helper here. You're not okay? my little. You're more than my little chef helper. Okay. okay. I gotta, gotta do the big boys first. The guys that all you know right, right. that put on all this because this is like a lot of work. I'd like to thank you all, especially all of you out there that participated in this hangout. Mm -hmm. It was. Totally cool to see your creations and being cooking with the 16 year old and the super mom. Yes, so thank you everyone for joining us today. No, 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 no. Oh, and to you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I get it. Wasn't she a star? Yeah. Yes, definitely. I'm a star, right? Thanks. You are a star, and so are all of you. So until next time, ciao, and continue to do the whole wellness thing because you only got one health. And that's all you got after that, nothing else. So, goodbye. Wellness. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 So, before we go, she says, Bye. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Important message before we go off, okay, people, if you want to discover wellness made easy, you can log on to Nestle's Facebook page or Nestle's Google Plus page. Okay, thank you everyone. Yay, thank Bye. You. This is our way Yay. goodbye today. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Wellness. Thank you. Is that your chicken dance? No, it's not my chicken dance. <laughs> you gotta do that, that thing. I did Mick Jagger.